2016 Dodge Durango. Last time I had did the water pump, valve cover gaskets, and 17 belt with both pulleys. After I tried to burp the system, the coolant temperature sensor was reading high. I had to put on order another thermostat housing because on the 3.6 it's all in one design. So I've already swapped that in and that threw a code P06DD for a stuck close oil pressure switch or sensor. Uh, and now I have already got the oil pressure sensor out along with the oil and cooling housing. Now, this oil did not leak out from the gaskets, which are a known failure problem on this. This is what happened when I disconnected and pulled the housing out. So, I've got to grab my shop vac, clean the valley out, clean around the intake manifold runners into the head. And over here, we've got the old housing is plastic. I've already pulled the brick off for the cooler and on the back side this was the center and the housings uh, actually broke. So I don't know how long it's been like that. And then what else do we have? All right we've got the replacement one. Now this is a aftermarket one, all aluminum, and I highly recommend going this route versus the plastic factory one because it's plastic, it can't warp. Put in an aluminum one, you can get it on the Amazon or from local parts store. I would got this one from O'Reilly's, I've already got the gaskets on. Just got to throw the bolt in, I've already plugged it, but for a part number here, research Dorman 926959, it comes with a new filter in the box here. New filter, and a new cap which has a warning. To let you know, it's been swapped out for a newer design. So now I have to get the valley cleaned up, stick my new housing in, Attach the old cooling lines and attach the old sensor. However, what I did notice when I was at the parts store is that there are two different sensors listed for this. And here, you probably can't see, and I don't have good lighting, so I can show this inside where the prongs are. There are three prongs, and it's flat. The replacement one, if I can get it here, there's also three prong, but inside of this one has a waffle shape. Now, when I plug it in, it will physically connect to the plug on the wiring harness. So, hopefully, this works. And there is no issue with it. There is one same design listed from the parts store. But it won't be here for days to come. And this line's making a trip from South Carolina to Texas. In the next day. So, I've got to get this thing on the road, run in, and then try this sensor. If it doesn't work, hopefully. She can get it taken care of out in Texas and replace it with the correct sensor. Now this one is PS674. It's a standard brand from O'Reilly's. 
Um, the original is six eight two nine five 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 six alpha alpha, and then below that it says six zero four seven C. There's a space MX one four. So. Hopefully it doesn't make a difference because it will physically connect to the sensor and I cannot unplug it. They look to be the same depth inside. It's just the physical inside shape is different. And side by side, a little bit of difference. But overall, same length connectors look the same except on the inside so fingers crossed it works now stay tuned to add on to the Dorman oil filter housing for the 2016 Dodge Durango I'm working on part number 926959 the oil filter housing is retrofitted from a older 2015 model vehicle with the 3.6. On the housing for the filter, it reads as such. Stop. Do not proceed without reading. This vehicle is retrofitted with an upgraded oil filter housing from a 2015 model year vehicle. To avoid engine damage, replace the oil filter must be from a 2015 model year of this vehicle. So, in the future, when she does a oil change, she needs to get oil and filter for a 2015. Well, the oil is the same, but she needs a filter from a 2015 model Durango. Brand... Hastings Denzo Wix part numbers LF697 is one. 1503066 is another. And WL110 is the Wix version. Now, the one that comes in this kit is 609. Two six nine five nine dash three. And since that number is not on here, don't know what brand it is because the box does not say the brand. But I don't even believe it says it on the filter itself, which it does not. But on the bottom, it shows part numbers. Two 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 three five and one hundred three seventy two, which none of those numbers are on the housing here. But slowly turn so you can pause this at any time and get those brand numbers and part numbers. So, just wanted to throw that information out there because I wasn't aware that this was from a earlier model vehicle. So, so now that we're done with the install, I'm burping the coolant system, and so far, this is where we are check engine light would be in this upper right hand corner next to the temperature outside but we have no issues luckily given the fact that the oil pressure sensor did not match the original one that was taken out so hopefully it stays the same and we don't have to change it out or she has to change out when she arrives in Texas. So, 
Only time will tell, but so far, so good. Just waiting on the Clinton system to work. Jamie with Ham Racing, thanks for watching.